what's up with probe and first layer height. In this video, we're gonna talk about proximity sensor and its role in the jelly box. In FDM 3D printing, it is imperative that the model, the object that you're printing, is stuck to the build plate, only to be peeled off once the print is finished. The printer needs to be able to repeatedly and precisely position the nozzle very close to the build plate, often less than 0.1 millimeters. Jellybox uses an inductive proximity sensor to figure out at what height to start printing. Proximity sensors are sensors able to detect presence of objects without any physical contact, based on mere proximity. Inductive proximity sensors specifically can sense metal, in our case, the aluminum build plate. They generate an electromagnetic field, and when this field collides with ferromagnetic metal, like the bed, or a knife, or a pin, the sensor takes notice. Sensors like these are very common. They are in metal detectors, they are in car washes, they count bottles on conveyor belts in bottling plants, and the list goes on. In Jellybox, the proximity sensor plays the role of Z and stop. It determines the Z homing position, just like simple mechanical microswitches determine the homing positions on X and Y axes. You can test your probe by staring at the integrated LED light as you put some piece of ferromagnetic metal close to it. So, each probe has a specific sensing distance at which it becomes engaged. This distance depends on what kind of metal you're sensing and on the specific individual probe. No two probes, not even exactly the same model from the same manufacturer, have exactly the same sensing distance because, well, they all have their own unique imperfections, just like humans. It logically follows that we can fine-tune the Z homing position and thus also the first layer height by adjusting the Z probe's position. And that's why you're watching this video. There's two parts to the process of getting the first layer height right. First, we need to physically move the proximity sensor, the Z probe, into a position in which it can actually sense the electromagnetic field of the aluminum build plate. In other words, we need to get the proximity sensor within its sensing distance from the plate. Second, we will fine-tune the first layer height to hundredths of millimeter. We'll do this in software by adjusting a virtual offset on top of the probe's sensing distance. Easy. I elected to make both of these parts as a separate videos so you can watch just what you need and when you need it. You'll find the links below. 